Kildare is sort of the Lexington, Kentucky of Ireland. Horse racing and breeding are huge here. We're at the Irish National Stud getting an insider's tour. The Irish National Stud is home to some of Ireland's top racehorses, and it's open to the public. Believe it or not, you can get up close to these sleek million dollar racehorses. And we did, and the foals were so cute. They are so sweet. The stud dates back to the early 1900s, when Colonel William Hall Walker, a wealthy Scotsman, purchased the farm and began to breed thoroughbreds. Many people thought that Hall Walker's breeding style was a bit eccentric. He installed skylights in the horses' stalls so that the horses could look up at the moon and stars. He used astrology and horoscopes to dictate which foals were sold and which were kept. No matter how bizarre his methods may have seemed at the time, they worked. Though the stud is still producing top thoroughbreds, today the breeding methods are a bit different. We're meeting up with Jonathan Clark, who grew up on the stud farm to get the inside scoop. This year he'll probably cover somewhere in the region of about 200 mares. Wow. All right, so he'd be our most popular stallion. This is his box we're just coming to now. Okay, great. He's a stud fee of 35,000 euro. So he's our most expensive. But you'll see here now, he's only 10 years of age. He's quite young. Basically the reason he's so expensive this year is that last year was the first time we saw his offspring on the racetrack as two-year-olds. Okay, that's when they first start racing in here in Ireland. Invincible Spirit actually broke the world record for most two-year-old winners in a sire's first season. He'd be one of the most popular young stallions in Ireland at the moment. So. And so did you name Invincible Spirit Invincible before you <laughs> knew all this? Because quite, that's... quite aptly named, all right. He's our number one boy this year, so he'd be well looked after. And Jonathan, what would breeders be looking for in a stallion? Well, obviously, apart from the obvious, they're looking for a stallion that's had success with their offspring. Okay, so you're looking for a stallion whose offspring have maybe won some of the big races as two and three year olds. Okay, now you look for a horse with a good confirmation. Okay, now the confirmation is this is kind of you know the beauty pageant side of the industry. How a horse looks, how a horse walks would be a very good determination as to basically how fast they're going to be able to run. So. Well, I want Invincible Spirit. He's the tops. Well, he's popular, so you'd want to get in early. That's for sure. I'll be on the waiting list. <laughs> To contemplate this hefty investment, I head over to find solitude and a bit of zen at the Japanese gardens. Located at the stud, the gardens were devised by Colonel Hall Walker and his famous Japanese gardener, and are yet another example of Hall Walker's eccentricity. The gardens were laid out over a four-year period in the early 20th century and are still some of the finest Japanese gardens in Europe. For more video clips, expert tips, or to learn more about equitrekking on PBS and equestrian vacations, visit our websites at equitrekkingtravel.com and equitrekking.com.